Uh, I've got to ask you, Vaidya, because, you know, so much of a, a bank's performance is obviously intrinsically tied to the performance of the, the Indian economy more broadly. So from what we've seen so far this year, and I suppose what you're looking at in terms of the hard data, are you expecting some considerable loan growth? Are you expecting, you know, conditions to improve considerably? Because, you know, everybody watching is thinking, oh, I've got to buy into India right now because that growth potential is just massive. But is, is that what you're seeing for, the, say, the next 6 to 12 months, that we're going to see that proved out? Well, people are thinking like that upon India. They're, they're right, let me tell you. Uh, because we are insiders of this country, and we can see for ourselves day-to-day -day basis how uh, the country is growing, how infrastructure is coming, how underpenetration is getting solved, how technology is uh, reaching credit uh, and finance to the bottom of the pyramid, how bottom of the pyramid is beginning to grow. So these are like macro, massive moments happening in the country. So they're right. Uh, for our India's credit market, let me say about a 15% credit growth uh, would be a fair expectation in the near future. And for our bank, a 25% credit growth uh, would be a fair expectation with, 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 with stable asset quality. Mm. Your deal is just the latest in a wave of consolidation in the Indian financial sector. Vai, did you expect more consolidation in the Indian banking sector? And what would that mean for customers overall, considering that means also less competition? Uh, well, you know, uh, the Indian market is growing market, so you don't really need consolidation. You actually, you can even grow uh, by, uh, this is not a mature stage country where you need to consolidate to grow. You can, in fact, have more institutions in the global growth. That's where this country is at this point of time. Uh, but um, having said that, ours is really a more a consolidation of two shareholding structures. There is no operating business in, in, in IDFC Limited. It's just a shareholding getting aligned for simplicity purposes and administrative purposes. You know, there'll be one accounting standard, there'll be one regulatory requirement, there'll be one statutory, statutory uh, compliance to make. So those are the benefits here. Uh, but in a country as a such, um, it's my view that actually you can spawn more institutions and they could all grow. It's that kind of country. I've got to ask you, because you mentioned 25% credit growth in terms of your own expectations, and that, in your mind, is a reasonable expectation. But considering all of the, I suppose, attention India's gotten lately, all of the fiscal spending that is being outlined, the expectation that you are going to see some pretty significant per capita growth as well, is there the, the possibility or potential for outperformance in, in your mind, perhaps, I don't want to get you into any kind of trouble in terms of, you know, guidance provided for this year, but I'm, I'm talking more broadly, like in terms of expectations, maybe three, five years out, considering the, the, the well, trajectory that India's on. No, India's on a, on a massive trajectory. If you, if you track the story of how India's infrastructure is growing, the roads, ports, and, you know, all that, it's really uh, phenomenal. We can see it ourselves, uh, for ourselves. Uh, now to us, of course, uh, you know, we, we, we guide what we guide and we want to stay to that. Uh, our uh, biggest uh, joy or drive is how our operating profit is growing. It's not so much the loan growth. You know, 25% stable, stable, good quality growth. But our operating profits are rising or rose, rose in 23 uh, by 60% or 66%, while the loan book grew by 25%. So our incremental return on equity is really uh, very strong. And we are more uh, kind of, uh, we are quite happy with that.